Hello everyone, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will discuss projection of lines. Before going ahead, make sure you have subscribed my channel so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. The possible cases for projecting lines as we have seen in the previous video, there are four possible cases. Out of these, first case is already discussed and the link is provided in the description. Second case has been discussed with, along with the both sub cases possible. Today we will look case number three that is when the given line is parallel to one reference plane and inclined to another. Coming to case number three when the given line is parallel to one reference plane and inclined to another. Similar to case number two it also has two sub cases. A when the given line is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Or subcase B when the given line is inclined to VP and parallel to HP. As we have already gone through subcase A of third case in the previous video, now we will look at subcase B of case number 3. Let us discuss subcase B of case number 3, that is when the given line is inclined to VP and parallel to HP. Taking an example for better understanding. A line PQ is 60 mm long is placed in first quadrant such that it makes an angle of 30 degrees with VP and parallel to HP. Also its endpoint P is 15 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the line when it is in first quadrant. Extracting the given data first. Name of the line is PQ with true length 60 mm. Angle with VP is termed as phi so phi becomes 30 degree as per the given data. And the line is mentioned as parallel to HP. Positions of front view and top view for endpoint P is given. So it is 15 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP. And the line is given in first quadrant. That means both the endpoints P and Q are in the first quadrant. What is required to find? Front view length is to be found out. Visualizing the question. These are the horizontal and vertical planes. We are looking from this direction and we are in the first quadrant that is above HP and in front of VP. So as for the given dimensions or distances, 30 mm in front of VP, 15 mm above, there is a point named P. And there is an angle with vertical plane phi that is given as 30 degrees in this question. With the true length mentioned that is 60 mm at the end of the true length you will get another point Q. If you obtain a projections that is front view to be obtained on vertical plane we will get corresponding front view points as P dash and Q dash. Line joining P dash Q dash is nothing but our front view that is front view will be having a reduced length. We don't know this length so we are not going to draw the front view first. Why? Because we don't know how to draw it. But if you take a look from the top view, then it is easier to obtain the top view points P and Q with the required angle which is already given. And then we can use the vertical projectors to find the corresponding points P dash and Q dash. Let's draw the solution in two dimensions now. This is the XY line drawing a vertical projector. You have to complete the top view first. So I'm moving in the similar manner, taking 30 mm in front and locating point P, that is the top view of given point P. Taking an angle in clockwise direction, 30 degrees, drawing a line. Then taking 60 mm in your compass, keeping a compass at P cutting an arc, locating another point of the line, that is another end, Q. That is the true length given to us. Taking 15 mm above on this vertical projector of P and locating front view, that is P dash. Taking a vertical projector up from top view point Q because on this vertical projector we will have the corresponding front view point so intersection of this and this line is this so it is nothing but our Q dash this is the reduced length P dash Q dash is nothing but reduced front view length points to remember in this solution when the given line is parallel to HP 
the front view is parallel to xy line also when the line is parallel to hp the true length of the line is visible in top view hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching